In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a compound binocular microscope. First of all, plug in the microscope. Then select the low power objective. The low power objective is usually colored red. Then we need to put the specimen on the microscope slide onto the stage of the microscope. This is the stage. So carefully sit the specimen on the stage, making sure that the microscope slide is the correct way up. The next thing we need to do is set the eye distance on the binocular piece of the microscope. This should be the distance between your eyes. And then we're ready to turn the microscope on. Next, we need to ensure that the eyepieces are correctly focused. So look down the microscope, look down both of the binocular pieces of the microscope at the same time. And you need to hold the focus button, which is at the back of the microscope. Focus carefully on the specimen. And first of all, you need to focus looking down the right-hand eyepiece. So close your left eye and focus the specimen only looking down the right-hand eyepiece. When the specimen is in focus, then close your right eye and look down the left-hand eyepiece and again focus the specimen, but this time using the focus setting on the eyepiece. Don't touch the microscope focus setting. Next we have to focus the condenser lens. The condenser lens sits above the light source and it focuses the light source onto the specimen. The way that we focus the condenser lens is we take something with a sharply defined tip like a pen or pencil and we carefully hold it over the light source. So we put the pencil above the light source and then we look down the microscope and we focus the condenser lens using this button here. We turn it up or down. We look down the microscope eyepiece and what we want to see is both the specimen and the tip of the pencil in focus. And, we, and that we achieve by moving the condenser lens focus button here. The microscope is now ready to view specimens. There are a couple of things that you need to be aware of while using the microscope. First of all, always look down both of the binocular pieces. Don't close your eye and just look down one at a time. You should, when you look down both binocular pieces, see a nice circular field. And if you can't see a circular field, then the distance between the eyepieces is incorrect and you need to alter it. Secondly, you need to change between objectives very carefully. This microscope has a low power objective of times 4 or times 10, so it's got two quite low power objectives. The times 4 is usually red, the times 10 is usually yellow, and high power objectives of times 40 and times 100. When you change the objective lens, make sure you hear it click into place over the specimen. Finally, be very careful when you focus the specimen on the stage. As you focus the specimen, the stage rises up. So be very careful if you have a large objective lens in there that you don't raise the stage so much that you crack the specimen. 